June, how are you doing? BMC. How are you doing? How are you doing today? How is London? Very well. I, I was trying by all means to explain to people saying uh, you're current right now, not in Nigeria, but in London. Yeah, so I flew, in, I flew in here two days ago. I had an event last night. I mean, London is cool. Uh, the weather is a bit cool. It's calm. Yeah. But yeah, it is what it is, right? Nice. How's Zambia today? Zambia is okay, though the weather is very hot. Uh, we're trying to to survive with the heat. <laughs> and, and, you, and you've been dropping, you've been dropping hot jams in the studio as well. So yeah. Imagine we're vibing to Momo, uh, your brand new record. Uh, but before we get straight to that conversation about the Momo song with uh, Joe Boy, let, let's talk about you yourself. Uh, I was doing some research just to get to find out. Saying uh, you have uh, three elder sisters. Uh, but I don't want to talk yeah, about no. that before that, but uh, I would love you to explain. You are a successful DJ, and it's rare that we see a uh, disc joker or record producer become as successful as you have become. How does that make you feel? Um, I mean, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel fulfilled. Uh, but um, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie. Like it takes God's grace as well. You can work hard. You can be smart, but you still need that grace from God. You know, you still need. We still need people like you around the corner, the fans who consume the music, who come out to our shows. You know. But for me, I'm just. I see it as a ministry. Like God has blessed me with a talent to put um, smile and joy on people's faces. You know, and I've been doing it for years, and I'm just so grateful to to still be around to do what I love to do. So yeah, I give God the grace. Yeah, but let's talk about uh, Nigeria as a country. We want to learn something from you. Uh, there's always this thing that uh, every time I have conversations with a few uh, uh, artists, they always refer Nigeria, Ghana. And uh, Zambia, a few artists as well that are trying their level best to get international. Maybe from uh, a DJ's point of view, or maybe your perspective, what do you think can make other countries also maybe learn something? I know sometimes you Nigerians are trying to push, saying we're not there yet, but we're trying to get there yet. And there's some other countries that are looking forward to be where you are right there. What was like your goal when you're trying to push? Um, so I'll be honest, right? It's, it's a journey. Because even with Nigerian music and Afrobeat that the world is accepted right now, it wasn't uh, what it was some, say, 10, 15 years ago, you know. So it's just everyone putting in effort from the artists to the producers to the media houses as well. And also uh, the fans uh, and music consumers in, in diaspora, you know, everyone doing their little bit to keep pushing the culture. And I would say um, uh, I feel collaboration is also one of the way forward because... Um, when you talk about music from Africa, it's not just Afrobeat music. There's bongo flavor. There's there's um, kendelili from Uganda. There's music from Zambia, from Tanzania. African artists and Africa in general make beautiful music, you know. But it's just about making that noise and letting the world know the quality of music coming out from Africa. So I feel collaboration, um, cross culture. Um, these are the way forward, you know, so we can um, keep speaking the narrative. I'm pushing our culture and our music beyond our boundaries. Mm. Also, I want us to get to find out, does it have to do with uh, the DJs uh, loving what you do? Because we have always been talking about uh, patriotism right in Zambia. I also want to get to find out from you as a DJ. How is it in Nigeria? Do you, do you guys play like 90? Do you have like a percent of type of music that you play in your country? Uh, um, so there would always be be that uh, formation when it comes to media, right? A certain percentage of Western songs and also a certain percentage of, of, of local content, which I feel is also the way forward because you need to keep preaching the narrative of what you're selling to the people. And as long as the music is good, is, is of good quality as well, why not? You know, so there's that in Nigeria. I know in South Africa as well um, and some other places across Africa where I've been to. You know, but notwithstanding, we also still need to find a way to strike the the balance. Our, our music is rich. Our people want to listen to our music. The world wants to listen to our music. So we need to first celebrate ourselves, put ourselves on the map, and then that will be what's going to come in and celebrate with us and also take our sound and accept it. Was there, was there a point uh, in your career 
as a DJ, your difficulty is to convince your own people to listen to their own? Um, so back in the days, it wasn't cool to play Nigerian music because we were like everyone was basically on the Western song, you know. But over time, consumers got to realize that listen, our, our guys are putting out quality music, our guys are putting in so much work. The only thing we can do, or the only thing we owe them, is to patronize them, you know, uh, make noise about the music and take our stuff out of the world. So uh, it's been a journey, like I said earlier on, and over time with so much hard work from different sector, from the production to the video quality, to the lifestyle, it was just a matter of time for the people to understand that, like, listen, I don't need to, to listen to Western music 60 minutes um, at a stretch and think that's the way forward. I can listen to my local song, connect with what they're saying because now it's more reality it's what it is, is relatable to you as compared to the lifestyle you, you're listening to or you're watching um, from the westerners you know so culture is one thing we need to embrace and be proud of because that's the only way we can we can keep preaching our heritage and hold on to what we have as africans nice all right so let's talk about your brand new song that we're playing right here and this is not the first time you are working with uh, joe boy I, I i love the chemistry i love how you guys just connect uh mumu is the title and um yeah. I, i'm still trying to get what you were trying to put across i love the vibe i love the song but why mumu what are we talking about in this song all right so mumu is like a slang that you use to to identify or classify someone who acts um, differently so in this context mumu basically is representing when someone say you're you're a fool like why are you acting like a fool so basically if you listen to the song and the lyrics um it's all about a lady that joe boy has so much love for he likes her so much but i mean i don't want to say much because the video, the official music video is about to pop up. People will get understand more, but I just a little bit. So Joe Boy loves this uh, this girl. He's, he's he's done everything possible to win her love. She's just been playing along all this while, playing him Momo, full, making him um, 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 make him look, look like a fool. And then at the end of the day, it's me she really wants to be with, you know. So, but Joe Boy is just saying, listen, don't think because I love you so much, I'm ready to give you my heart and all. You do not have to play me and make me look like a fool. I'm not a mumu. So that's that's what this explains for the record itself. Nice. And I hope everyone's, everyone enjoys it. It's an amazing song, to be honest with you. So did you produce this song by yourself or maybe... Uh, <laughs> I'm just asking. It's an amazing uh, so, song. So Signal, Signal, I worked with Signal on the production of this song. An amazing, talented, young producer springing up from Nigeria as well. And... Trust me, the vibe was just was just the vibe is just endless, man. And then we got a guitarist um in the studio as well to finish it up. And then obviously the synergy with Joe Boy from nobody to this track, it's it's evidence, you know. So it's just it just had to be right. It just had to be right. Nice. So when when are we expecting the official video to be out for the for the song? The official video is gonna be out this week. Um I shot the video last a couple of days before I left for London. But the video will be out this week. I'm just waiting for the first cut from the director, Director Pink. She shot the video. I worked with a female director on this one. Nice. And um, boom, once I once we are, once we go through the first cuts and we 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 will go with it. Boom, all the grading commences, and then the video will be out this week because I want it to be out. The record is banging. I need people to watch the video, understand the scope, and keep streaming the song, Mumu. Nice. I like how you, you were saying it, Mumu. I was saying Mumu. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, uh, there are people that are listening right now in Zambia. Uh, they are from Nigeria, uh, but they are in Zambia. I, I, I would love you to maybe say hi to them. I know a few people that are listening right now. And uh, maybe you can just say what's up in any, any way that you yeah. can say to them. Yeah, what's up to my Nigerian family all the way in Zambia? I know we are, we're always somewhere around the world representing. So shout out to every Nigerian in Zambia. I mean, doing the right thing, spreading the gospel, 
show the love it's one africa at the end of the day and also shout out to zambians listening to me right now i can't wait to be back in the country it's been too long last time i was there was with david o a couple of years ago first time was with nato c but definitely i'm already doing some collaboration with artists from zambia and i know from early next year i will be in your country in and out as much as i can did i hear you right you're doing some 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 work with some zambian artists Yep, yep. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Is that yep, like like yep, the official yep, announcement yep. right now? I'm excited about it. <laughs> so we expect something next year, right? That's exclusive. Yeah, definitely something. Something. It's with exclusive. I'm excited. You have no idea how excited I am about this. I'm so looking forward to this, and uh, I, I'm, I'm happy you had to say it. But I'll be honest with you collaboration is the way forward i mean as a dj i play with a lot of music from africa back home when i'm doing international gigs because then i'm not just performing to my west african audience there's the east african audience south african audience and when you play these songs for me personally it just opens my mindset like mm, we need to collaborate more we need to we need to bridge the culture we need to let the world know that our music is solid. It's not just about Afrobeat. It's about African music and our continent, Africa. Nice. DJ Neptune, thank you very much for your time. It's a lot right here. For now, vibe to Mumu, right here on uh, the Jeff Lunch. It's an amazing song. Uh, once again, I, 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 I didn't see this conversation happening anytime soon. Uh, but uh, we count down to the video for Mumu, right here on Joy FM. Yes, well. sir. Thank you very much for your time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, thank you for having me. God bless you. All right. So I'm having a conversation with uh, DJ Neptune, one of the biggest DJs. Trust me. So let's go play this brand new song in case you haven't listened to it, right? You're listening to it for the very first time. So born and bred Nigerian. Now we're having a conversation with him in London uh, where he said uh, he's there to... Uh, he or rather... So now let's get to play this song again. Mumu, he does Joe Boy, his brand new record for this year, 2023. Greatness. Sing. Sing now. DJ Nakil, hit me. Oh, yeah, don't me. I'm your man and I'm your boo All your bills on me Because they forget the veto And I must shine my tattoo when I see you Make me feel like it Be a go come again Anytime you call my name I go outside But you wake up 